today uh, my sermon uh, is a little bit kind of the, the moment that we could wrap up you know, this semester and uh, remember why we Juniper Christian School exists today and even you know, the future. So my sermon topic is follow me, Matthew chapter 4, 19. And I would like to focus on what is called relationship. If you ask me, how do you define school ministry, which means school work, what would be the main keyword? Then I would, there's no any hesitation to say that relationship. That is the main keyword that we have to remember and focus on. Because you're not going to remember after completing your schools, your all the academic journeys, when you focus on only study. You're not going to remember only maybe test result. You will remember your friendship. You remember all the fun activities. You remember memorable experiences like maybe um, musical or marathon or any social engagement community service which we provided. Why? Because you are going through, it is called, happy and sad and moments. Sometimes you are going through conflict between you and your friends. Even though our school, a little small community, like let's say this week, it is called Spirit Week from first grader to 12th graders, you guys gather gathering together as a one group, maybe a small group. And sometimes first grader has to listen to your senior or high school, junior high school. And sometimes senior high school and also the middle school, upper middle, middle elementary schools, you guys what listen to first grader, their voices. It is called one community and you do have intimate relationships. The teachers and you, you guys have a mentorship. You know, a lot of parents, why they decided sending this type of a school? There are a lot of reasons. One of the main reasons is this one. Care, care. How much teachers, how much students, how much parents, they are willing to spend their own time to listen my kids, your students, their voices. Sometimes emotionally, physically, the struggling, then, do you have some people, at least, they could contact and ask and have some time to what? Sharing, exchange their different views, and what? And ask some advice and support. Frankly, in my life, I'm about, you know, the, about age of 50 years from right now. I still remember only few, two or three people who what, became helping me as what, my mentors. Mentors. I met so many teachers, so many like my you know, mentors, but I still feel only like three people remember. Why? First, they're willing to spend their time for me. Second, they don't mind spending their money for me. Third, they're willing to seriously spend their intimate the relationship and the prayer for me. I sometimes you know, stumble, which means I fail. Sometimes I you know, made a good job, but any situation, they all the times, they try to support me as though they're you know, my mentors. That's why the, uh, our school, you know, we have seen your transformation. It is called transformation. Transformation and change between that, the meaning is really different. Transformation, what? Internal change. Your internal person will be changed. Sometimes you are lying so much, but sometimes you doing behavior really bad. But one day, internal person, which means your mind, your thinking, your what, all the, the life philosophy, faith, change. Then your life, your attitude will be eventually changed. Why? Because of this one, your relationship with the person you respect, you listen, you also you want to get some help. Your parents, for example. When you become the, the college kids, you go to maybe like different country or here, the, you know, this long distance. It is hard to meet them every day. What would you do? Probably you're gonna make a phone call or maybe a, maybe a visual chatting. Then you may say, mom, dad, I need some help. Not money only, I need your help. I need your prayers. Then they're willing to pray that you could develop continually 
intimate relationship, it may motivate your academic achievement, spiritual growth achievement. That is one of the areas, factors that you could become the better person. That's why relationship it is important in any successful in your areas. Jesus also he spent his about three years and a half every single day to build up an intimate relationship with his followers and Jesus' disciples. Eating time and also sleeping time and then sometimes joyful time, the sad moments, any single moment, he was with his disciples. Some of you guys ask me and the teachers, why you guys so much time to get involved with the students? Why you guys spend time driving the school bus? Guess what? Your teachers, including myself, we like to spend and some time, much time, with each one of you guys. Each one of you guys. And this semester, you guys have a lot of fun activities. One of the activities is field trip. Beda Gol, Tema Park. Our class one, two students got to go, right? It was a fun time, right? Lunch. It is like probably you don't remember math and the English, but you remember. Oh, I had a good time with my teachers. Maybe one of my friends, maybe bothered me so much. Maybe uh, on the bus, maybe we talk about a lot of unnecessary joke, but it was really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. So same locations all the time you go. Like for example, Jirisan, you could go Jirisan by yourself. Maybe movie theater. Normally I go to movie theater by myself these days. But, yeah, it's kind of feels sad. Yeah, but I used to you know go there with my wife and kind of busy right now. It's like you know the kids. Oh. So sometimes I need some rest. I feel rest. <laughs> it's a really rest. So better go. You went with your friends, teachers. Wow, that's why special moment you could say that. Let me finish with this Bible verse. Matthew chapter four verse nineteen. Jesus said, "It is called come." Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Once again, Jesus said, Jesus came to Peter, and Andrew said, "Come and follow me, and I will make you fish for people." What does it mean? Your now your job is you know what's called a fisherman, but. I'm gonna train you, make you the people who can share my gospel love, you know, for my people, the people that you are going to meet, you are going to see. Peter was not educated; he was not educated person, but he became a it is called spiritual person by the love of Christ, and through it is called intimate relationship with Jesus. Let me tell you this one. Everyone's here under the name of what is called Juniper Christian. So there are two type of people. First front person, one who has been called. Another person who was sent. Maybe your teachers. They do have a special calling as a teacher and mentor, and came here. Why? Because they have been called by God. And you are here because what? God sent you as a student. There is no any accident. There must be. It is called the purpose of God. You are, and including myself, we are here. And none of the person is what one who was sent. Eventually, you and I, we are going be to be sent by God as what His disciples, His workers, His teachers, His is what students. Do not consider this great opportunity as what by accident. Maybe mistake, waste of time. Maybe my parents. Remember this one. You and your teachers, and including myself, we are here because of what God's purpose, God's will. Juniper Christian School. This is our school mission statement. First one: Christ-centered education, chapel, Bible classes, and all the Christian ethic programs. We try to encourage you guys to have a more better. Discernment between right and wrong. We don't focus on any certain denomination, any certain theology. We do provide the opportunity you could build up 
solid and strong biblical perspectives make the right decision in the name of Christ. That's why chapel and then morning devotion, the Bible classes, I believe it is important, maybe more than core subjects sometimes. In the academy of excellence, it is school, not Sunday school. Once again, guys, you're not attending, participating, not Sunday school. School. School is school. School must have policy. School must have rules that you have to learn. Why? This is what? A society. You learn about society. You learn about policy. You learn about the people, the teachers, and global perspectives. Not only speaking English, not language. Maybe other languages, Chinese, Spanish, all the languages you try to learn. The second one is what? Cultures. From your teachers, from your people, your students, all the friends, cultures. Each one has a different, unique cultures. Maybe eating style, maybe you're with a dress code style, and all the different culture you do have. And the last one is what? The people. Everyone has a unique characteristics, attitude. Everyone's unique. So global people, global leaders, what do you do? Three things you have to learn. People, language, and cultures. On the name, it is called, on the name, it is called Juniper Christian School, then we are going to focus on three areas. And last one, this one. We are gathering together, and there are so many people, it is called, there are some, the broken, which means what? Spiritually, physically, disabled. Not perfect, everyone. Even teachers, fragile, spiritually. Maybe like your parents, divorce. Maybe yourself, physically, maybe like, you know, disability, disabled function you may have. And your academic performance, you may, maybe lack of a, you know, performance you do have. Maybe behind compared to others, you spiritually, academically, maybe, but it's weak. But once again, everyone's not perfect. That's why it is place, shelter, we gathering together. And next one is Jehovah Zireh, which is a provision of God. God provide. He is able to provide what we ask, what we need. Seek God first. And third one, in this situation, we experience God's comfort, God's peace. We are in peace of God. Next one is experiencing new life. And after this transformation, and we will be sent by God as what? His witnesses and leaders. Everyone, well done. All right, well done. Let's give a big hands to each one of us here and teachers. Thank you.